Hey guys, it's May May. This week, I got more requests to do an ink video than I think I have in the life of my channel. And so I am trying to do a video that will answer the question I see most often asked. And that is, what ink for alcohol marker coloring and what ink for watercolor coloring? Okay, so I'm going to focus today's video on two types of ink, dye and pigment. And I'm not going to bring any other inks into this video so that I don't confuse you. But what I am going to do is on my second channel called Product Parade, and I'll leave a link for it below and in the iCard for you, I'm going to go through each one of my inks and tell you the properties of them in a very short, concise video. So that way you can reference them as you need them. So let's get started with this one. So these two inks are the two inks that I have used most often throughout my whole stamping life. I love these guys. I'm going to start with dye. Okay, the reason I'm gonna start with dye is because really for the longest time, dye ink was the most popular ink out there and the one used most often. So what does dye ink do? Let's talk about it. Dye ink does just what it says. It dyes the page. So if you're gonna use dye ink, I want you to think of it like this. Let's say you're doing tie dye and you put tie dye ink or um, it's actually dye onto the fabric. It is going into the fibers of the fabric and it's staining the fabric. That's what this guy does, okay? And I say that because this one doesn't sit on the surface. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. So this guy here in particular is acid-free, fade-resistant, water-based, and fast-drying, okay? So water-based, what does that mean? Oh, that must mean I can watercolor with it. No, it doesn't. And let me tell you what I've discovered. So I used to be a hairdresser. I have to tell you that before I say this. We learned in doing hair that when you color someone's hair, if you get some of the color or the dye on their skin, you can put a little bit of the same product, a little bit of the hair color on a cloth and clean that off the skin because color moves color is what we were taught in hair school. Well, I have discovered that water moves water and alcohol moves alcohol. So let me show what I mean by that. So this is just a little candle stamp, and I'm just gonna stamp this guy a couple times. I'm gonna stamp it here on this side of the page in our memento, just like that. And I'm gonna stamp it on the other side of the page in the same ink. And we're gonna talk about it. So what do I mean by water moves water and alcohol moves alcohol? So this is water-based, okay? I'm going to move it with water in just a second, but what I want to do is let it dry as long as I can while we talk about another product, because I want you to see how long this will dry, okay? So I'm going to take an alcohol marker. This is a 389 from Nouveau, and I want to show you that this won't move this dye ink. My alcohol marker will not move this water-based ink. Does that make sense? It's water-based. Alcohol is not moving it. Isn't that awesome? I'm breaking in here to say that this is water-based, not water-reactive ink. We'll talk about that in another video. Just remember, water-based. So when I'm alcohol coloring, alcohol marker coloring, then I use a dye ink. So something like this one, or, um, oh, something like this one. So finesse has, um, or actually finesse is the name of this ink by Spectrum Noir. They have brought out inks that work with their alcohol markers, and I found they work with the Nuvos as well. The thing is this, this is good marketing. If you're looking for alcohol ink to put that on the cover, it's good. It's the same product here. It's just one they brought out to let you know this one is good for alcohol markering. So you may see me interchange between these two products, but they both work for alcohol. They're both dye-based inks. Okay, now does it work for water? Let's see, remember this is water-based, all right? So watch what happens when I put water on it. Let me get that a little bit of the yucky off of there and let me show you what happens. Do you see how that black ink is moving? Okay, so what happens here is the water-based moves with water, but it doesn't move with alcohol, okay? So this is the one we use for alcohol marker coloring. Now let's look at the other guy. So Versafine Onyx Black Pigment Ink, okay? Here's the difference between a dye and a pigment ink. Pigment ink sits on the page. I want you to think of it like this. When you're doing your eyeshadow 
and you take your eyeshadow pigment and you put it on your skin, it's not dyeing your skin or sinking into your skin. It's sitting on your skin. That's what this one does. Now, this one will not wipe off like eyeshadow does. You can't wipe it off, you know, and get rid of it because it will stain the page like some eyeshadows can do, right? If you've ever used a pink or a red eyeshadow, they can stain your um, skin. That's the pigment that does that. But what this one is going to do is it's going to dry on the surface, and that is important for what we're going to see here. All right, let's stamp our little candle image again, and I want you to see everything I'm doing. So I'm cleaning this little stamp in between because I don't want to have any carryover from my dye ink for this um, for this sample. So I'm just going to clean this off, and I put too much naturally. So let me get in there and get some of that out because I don't want squeaky clean in my experiment either. I want just the ink. Okay, so that is good. All right, let's stamp our candle again. And this time I'm gonna stamp it with the pigment. So one side and the other. Okay, so we've got those stamped. Now let's talk about this. This ink is not water-based. Pigment ink is typically glycerin-based. I've seen some say they're oil-based um, and maybe some are alcohol-based. I don't think they are because alcohol drives too quick to think it would be pigment, but this is like a glycerin base is what they typically say. Let's read the back of this one. This one says, it's pigment ink for fine details. It brings out the finest detail, longest lasting pigment ink pad available, perfect for using watercolors to color stamped images. And then it'll tell you that the white edges of an ink pad are normal. Sometimes you'll have little white edges around your ink pad, and that's because pigment ink is juicier. It's not water-based. So, Imagine pouring like oil on one of these pads. It wouldn't sink in quickly and it wouldn't cover every space. It would sink in, but it would take time and it would kind of sit more on the surface than grabbing onto every fiber of the pad. So that's why you might have some white edges. All right, let's do our, our experiment. We're going to take the water brush and I want to clean it first because again, I don't want any gunk in it. So let me clean that out. This is just my Aquaflow pen that I put water inside of. So let's go to the first one. Okay. And this is the one we stamped first. I'm going to put a little water out here. And I'm going to go right over that with my wet brush, okay? Do you see that it doesn't move it? It did not move it. Let's bring our other image over so you can see what it did to that one. So you can see here, this is our dye ink with water, and this is our pigment ink with water. So it didn't move. Cool, right? So this is the one you want to use for watercolor. But now let's bring out that alcohol marker, okay? I'm not going to use the nib. I feel like that'll be cheating. We'll use the regular one here, the bullet point. And I'm just going to run over this just like I did in the first test, including this little guy. And I want you to see what's happening. So I'm going to bring this up to the camera so you can see it. Do you see how that started to smear and move and bleed? That's because alcohol moves glycerin or pigment. <laughs> alcohol moves pigment. Let's look at it on the other one. Let's compare these two. So if I do this, you can see that the dye ink doesn't move with the alcohol but the pigment ink does. Now let's say you have a really large, bold image stamp, like this birthday word. See how every letter is bold? I find that dye inks will pull up on my stamp. Let me show you what I'm talking about. See, they're water-based, so they have a tendency to pull. Now, there was a time when I used only Memento, and I did fine. All my cards were fine. You really couldn't tell, you know, any issues with my card, and sometimes I might have to stamp something twice, but I want to show you what's happening here. So, I've inked that up. You saw how much I inked it, and in some areas, see how juicy that side is there, but see how in the middle, I'm not getting good ink coverage. Let me turn it this way and show you. In the middle, it's a little bit pooly. Now, this stamp has been seasoned. I have used this one a lot. You guys saw my sample video where I made all the samples with it. So, it should do well. See that? It should do well because it's a seasoned stamp. But a brand new stamp is this die is probably going to pull up on it. Just know this. The more you use it, the better it will do. But if you don't like to fight the pooling, which can happen, it didn't here, it's beautiful. But again, that's because I know I've used it a bunch. I made a bunch of stuff with this one. So let me clean it one more time. I cleaned it before I used it too, by the way. So I'm gonna clean it here. And now I wanna show you what pigment ink will do. Pigment ink is so rich and thick that when you ink it up, it just kind of lays on the surface better. It smooths out better. And I still go over and over and over and over because I don't want to miss a spot. But there's something about pigment ink on these bold image stamps 
that just does such an incredible job. And um, Onyx Black is typically darker than Memento. You see how that one's going a little gray and it's a little fady through here? Camera may be messing with it because it blows everything out in the light, but you can see here how beautiful and rich and thick this one is. You can also see that I missed the edge of that B when I inked it, but look how beautiful that is. So the reason I wanted to show you this is because I tell you all the time, this is the ink I use for sentiments. I use it for all my sentiments. I think it works perfectly, and I always get a much better result than when I use this one for sentiments. Now, you can see that this works fine. I can get by with this, but look at that dark, rich, beautiful black color from that pigment. Now, let's do our test again. Watch this. What we don't do is we don't add water to this. See it moving that? Even though I've let it sit there, it's kind of getting gray and mucky. The camera's blowing it out. I'll bring it up. See how gray and mucky my Y got? Okay, and we don't do this. We don't alcohol marker the, um, the pigment. See that? So just as a reminder, you can decide what inks you want to purchase in your collection, but here's what I'm gonna tell you. If you're a new stamper, a brand new stamper, these are the two you need in your collection. You need a good black dye ink and you need a good black um, pigment ink. These are the literal ones I suggest. I suggest the Memento Tuxedo Black and I suggest the Versafine Onyx Black. Now, if you're a longtime viewer, you might know that recently, like in the last year, I've started using the Finesse by Spectrum Noir Alcohol Proof Dye Ink. I like this ink. The reason I started to use it is because I felt like so many of you questioned what ink to use for my alcohol markers, and I thought this was great marketing that they did here to just put that right on the cover, but when we shuck it down to the cob, these are literally the same property of ink, and they work the same. You just have to decide which one you like best. I like this oval pad. I like the way it works. Um, but honestly, they're pretty interchangeable for me at this point. At one point, I thought this was going to be my forerunner, but at this point, I feel like they're the same. Whichever one I grab will work. All right, that's the ink video I'm bringing you today because I think that's the questions you guys really have. But head to the Product Parade channel, and this week, um, not, yeah, this coming up week, I'm just going to be uploading a new ink video for you guys to see that'll be just a little quick, um, you know, specific ink videos. So to give you all the answers I think you're looking for without having to watch a 30 or 40 or could be 50 minute video. All right. Thanks so much for watching guys. One more favor. If you have questions that I did not answer, please put them in the comments of this video so I can monitor those and go back and make sure I answer what you want to know. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Have a great weekend. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also my product parade channel so you don't miss these kinds of videos. Have a great one guys. Bye-bye.